Hi guys, I'm Ross from Seconds Out Fight Store. Today's review is on the Adidas Boxhog 3 boxing boots. Now, the Boxhog 3 model is a direct upgrade to the Adidas Boxhog 2s, but they definitely have a more premium feel to them. The Boxhog 2s were seen very much as a beginner's boxing boot. They were something that, a design that was very plain, simple with the black white color scheme. They were lightweight, very comfortable, designed to be durable, hard wearing, but definitely targeted at the beginner's market. The Boxhog 3s have got a more premium feel to them. Whilst they do have a lot of similar points to the Boxhog 2 model, it is definitely a more premium boot. That's reflected in the price, and it definitely feels like Adidas are trying to compete more with the Nike Macho Mai. Both pairs of boots come in four great colors. Both pairs are very lightweight, and both are under a hundred pound retail price. The Boxhog 3s have got full mesh construction. The mesh feels a lot thicker than on the previous model. Um, it really feels like Adidas have put a bit of work into that. The suede that runs around the side of the boot, right around the front, helps protect against impacts, toe clashes, things like that while you're competing. And on the front of the boots is a signature three Adidas stripes. These are a lot thicker than on previous models and it's such, it's such a simple design change but such an effective design change. It really makes the boots stand out a lot better. It's very striking, very bold and a brilliant decision by Adidas to make that small change. It's a, it's a massive improvement. On the sole, there is a, in, in the, the midsole, in between the upper sole and the outer sole, is a thin layer of EVA foam. You might see that in some descriptions on boxing boots. Uh, EVA is a man-made material. It's used a lot in hill walking shoes, sportswear shoes, and it's designed to protect the foot, again, give you a bit of cushion to protect the foot against uh, hard and sharp surfaces. So there's just a thin layer of this in the midsole, which will do enough to protect your feet but still keep you close to the, the canvas or the mats so you get maximum performance. On the actual sole itself as well, I would have liked to have maybe seen a bit of an upgraded sole. It's the exact same sole as was in the Boxhog 2s. And if they were bringing out another beginner's boxing boot, that would be absolutely fine. But the fact that they're a bit more expensive, they've upgraded the mesh, they've changed the stripes, they've got a more premium feel to it. I would have just liked to have seen a bit more of a premium sole on it. Maybe even the, the grip running in the direction of the foot would have been a really nice touch to give it that bit more of a premium feel. In the back, there's a single canvas stripe that runs up the back of the boot right up to the top. We loop at the top um, is designed to help you slide your feet into the boots. So boxing boots are always quite narrow and tight, compact fitting. So this wee loop here is just something that you put your finger through and helps you slip your, boot, your feet into the boots. Going around to the front of the boots, that stripe runs all the way up from the instep, uh, up the laces to the top of the tongue, where you can see the Adidas logo at the top. On the inside of the tongue, there is the, a wee label that's got text saying, boxing has the power to change lives, uh, which is a really nice wee touch. I, I, I like a lot of wee hidden messages like that. Some of the, the Kronk t-shirts have got that. They've got a wee message written on them on one of the labels. And uh, yeah, I think it's a nice wee design touch, definitely. The laces themselves are quite thin, but they still feel like they're good quality. They're very long. Though I wouldn't have any worries about them coming away or anything or falling apart. They're still top quality. The one thing that I'm not a fan of with these boots in the slightest, and I'm just going to come out and say it, is the inside lining. It looks absolutely terrible. For some reason, and I don't know why, they've decided to put in this bright neon yellow inside lining. I, I don't get why they've went with this neon colour might be to make the boots stand out a wee bit because of the, the blue and black, red and black, uh, the black on black, they're, um, they're quite dark colours so maybe this is a way of brightening the boots up but it is what it is, the, you know there's beauty and simplicity, I don't think you need to put something that's in my opinion quite tacky on the inside of the boots. That being said it doesn't affect the performance of the boots, it's just that you don't really see it as well because the laces are done up when you're when you're training or competing so it's not really something you see, it's not a massive deal. I'm glad if it's going to be a flaw it's something on the inside of the boot that you don't really see too well. Now that's true on three out of the four colours. Unfortunately on the white colour is a different story altogether because the yellow actually shows through the boot and it gives it like an off white yellowy sort of tinge to it, which I can't imagine anybody wanting. I've never seen a pair of boxing boots like that. You never see it in white boxing gloves. You never see it on white trainers, white cars, anything. No, nobody wants a, a yellow tinge to their white. It, it looks like somebody's peed in some snow or something like that, that same sort of color. You don't notice it at times, but when it's under the lights and in pictures and things, if you're competing, I, I think it will show up and 
it's just not a good look in my opinion like I, as i said i just don't see why anybody would want that off-white yellowy sort of color it looks terrible and i'm really disappointed because the white was the main color that i was really desperate to see we sell a ton of the nike macho mice in white and i was thinking this will be a direct comp competitor for the white macho mice and as soon as i opened up the box the, the stock stock photos didn't show it that well so I wasn't really prepared for it. And then when I opened up the box, I was desperate to see them. I was buzzing to see them. And as soon as I opened the box, it was just, oh, it was just like a flat disappointment at this yellow tinge that was staring up at me through the boots. It's, it's really disappointing because the boots are so good. They're brilliant. They're an absolutely incredible design. But this yellow, I just, I just can't see why this is an idea. I hope that Adidas bring out a second version of the Box Hog 3s with a different coloured inside lining. The sensible option would be on the three colours, black, blue and red, to have a black inside lining because it matches the colour of the stripes. And on the white, to have a white inside lining because if it shows through, it's the exact same colour as the boots. It's not going to have any impact of the colour. I don't know why they've done it this time. It looks terrible in my opinion, but that's exactly it. It's my opinion. You might feel that this looks absolutely brilliant and that's cool that's that's fine everybody's got an opinion but i'd rather give you my honest opinion on them i don't think it's a good look at all i don't think i don't think they thought about it enough and uh yeah hopefully they bring out another version of them without that yellow inside lining well that's the adidas box hog threes overall um i think they're brilliant boots the yellow inside lining doesn't get away from the fact that they're cracking boots they're only 80 quid, 85 pound on Adidas's website. We sell them for 80 pound on our website. Uh, they're brilliant boots. If you're not looking to go up to 100 pound, you're looking for that sort of mid-range, but brilliant quality for competing or training. These are a brilliant shout. You can pick these boots up on our website and lots more at seconds-out.co.uk where we do worldwide shipping. Hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have any comments, especially about the inside line, and I'm curious to see what other people think of it. So if you have any comments, especially about the yellow inside line, and please put, put them in the section below. I'm, I'd genuinely love to hear what everyone else thinks of them because maybe it's just me that, that doesn't see it. Um, so yeah, please stick them in the section below. Let me know what you think of that bit especially and anything else about this video, any comments, questions, feedback, anything at all. I always love to hear what you think of this video. And until then, we'll see you next time. Thanks again. Cheers.